Okay, well, I finally pulled the hoof capsule off of Cat Dancer here. And it's pretty rank, so this is going to be a quick quick video, because this thing's been frozen and unfroze about a hundred times. But, uh, you remember I showed you on the other hoof capsule how ingrown the bar was, and I told you about how um, when I took took the, the, the foot out, the hoof capsule off the foot, that there were some some really heavy duty indentations. Now remember this is Toby's hoof or hoof duh coffin bone. Okay, there were some indentations in the bone here from the bars and collateral grooves that had worn worn indentations in here, and they're not supposed to be there. So um, I wanted to show you. I also showed you how. Uh, because of the foot being lifted up, let's see, let's get this down here a little bit. Okay. Because of the coffin bone that should have been attached like that, okay, uh, because of the wall and the bars being jammed up in the hoof, started to pull the toe back, and she could have got some laminitis too, but this excavated the problem. So it was both mechanical and it could have been grass founder too. Okay, but but mainly she might have made it through if it wouldn't have been for these ingrown bars and this jammed up hoof wall right here. And this can happen whether a horse has laminitis or not. Um, uh, so the way this happens is too much peripheral loading, or what they call peripheral loading, or what they call the you know the wall being loaded right here and bearing too much weight for too long. And gradually, instead of growing out and growing down and getting, you know, worn off, trimmed off, whatever, it slowly starts growing like an ingrown toenail. Just growing back up into the foot here. And also, slowly, the bar, look at that bar, is laid over. Get some more light on it here. This bar laid over right here, and it just started growing up, and uh, because the the foot is attached to a joint right here it can't go anywhere it starts to rotate as it's the back of the foot is lifted up like that and it starts to rotate and then that uh, lamina right here the, where the wall connects to the coffin bone it starts to uh, the cells start to proliferate and increase and stretch. And so you had a situation with her like this. See? And so um, I showed you how it had so lifted the back of the internal foot up that it finally separated it from the sole here. Separated the bottom of the hoof, the sole corium, from the sole, and on that other foot that I had, she actually had sole growing, another sole growing here. Just as I showed you, she also had two sets of bars. See there? From the hoof, foot being lifted up and back, and finally torn away, pried away from the original sole to where she started to grow another sole and more bars on the bottom of the foot. And so I'm gonna this foot's in pretty bad shape, but I'm gonna show you um how that is. Okay? Now uh, I don't have enough room here. Ugh, push that back. Get back there. Okay. Move it back here a little bit. Okay, so what you have here, uh just a minute. Let me find a little pointy device. Hold on. I had some tweezers. Okay, here we go. Okay. What you have right here is another sole. There's, the sole corium is under here. This foot was the same as the other foot. Um, now I cleaned the bars up on this foot. But there was another set of bars all right, it, her the back of her foot had already been pried away from the bars there, and she was growing another bar on top of it. This is another sole that she was growing underneath here. 
See, this right here, this is all new sole. The sole on the hoof capsule here was totally detached. And she was growing another sole underneath. Um, also, you can see on this hoof capsule, let's see, let's get some light on this subject. Okay, last minute, I'll try and get better lighting. Okay, move some stuff around. Okay. Let's see here. Get over there. Okay. All right. So, um, this is part of the, the soul that was growing right here. It's not soul corium because I looked on the foot and the soul corium is still there. Uh, there might be a little sole corium right here, but this is extra sole that was growing. And if you really look in there, you can see the, the ridge of sole, the space in between. Let's see if I can get that here so you can see it. Okay, you see this little ridge right now? Well, let me figure this out. Okay, you see this ridge right here that I'm pouncing on right there? That is sole, and there's a space in between the sole of the hoof capsule here and this piece of sole here that was growing, just like what I showed you on that other foot. She had a whole other sole growing on her internal foot, and it, there was a space in between the two. What a mess, huh? Also on this foot, you see right here the laminar wedge that was on this foot here. See right there? This, These are lamina leaves right here. And uh, you see them in this foot here. Now they go, if I turn it over, they go to about here. So this foot was the same as this foot. And this was not just laminitis. This was mechanical due to a farrier not being able to read the foot and read what was going on in that foot. And obviously, you know, I showed you that there was a nail hole. Okay? That's, uh, the horse had been shod within the last two, three months. Okay, so, so this is, is, a lot of this is farrier error. It, it's human error in that it's the owner's error for not understanding about what was going on, that's for sure. But it's also farrier error in that he never trimmed the bars. And so if the mare did go through a bout of laminitis, okay, then she had no chance at all because the bars were never trimmed. See, those bars are very long and laid over, just bent right over. Oh, well, we got to go. Come back in a bit.